Hello, I am Harsha Tanna Pegada. Welcome back to a new episode of Straight Up by edX Live. Technical glitches, issues with admit cards, far away exam centers and more. We at edxlive.com have covered all of students' concerns when it comes to examinations and how they are connected. Today, we are here to draw your attention to an alleged loophole in the conduction of JEE Advanced 2024. The Joint Entrance Examination Advanced is one of the toughest entrance exams in India for admissions into Indian Institutes of Technology IITs, Indian Institutes of Science, Education and Research IISCRs, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technologies and other institutions. The 2024 exam was held on May 26. Taking to social media on May 27, a JEE Advanced candidate Ashish Kumar Verma pointed out an energy loophole in the exam software at the IIT Madras. He says the human interactive device HID configuration issue was the reason behind the loophole. To simplify further, Ashish, a teen prodigy in coding and web development, who also founded an artificial intelligence company on his own, joins us today. So Ashish, what is the loophole and how did you identify it? As a when we enter into the JE Advanced Examination, we are assigned a different uh, let's say a number which is C004 or C005 and every test center may have different uh, seat numbers assigned to the candidates while they are verifying their Aadhaar card and their identity. So we are assigned a uh, particular number that you have to go into this and plug it and the uh, that test taker software is already opened and as a candidate we are not allowed to exit that particular uh, software or the test taker software. Uh, because it takes us to the ILEON operating system that uh, that runs that test taker software and we are not allowed to go to the home page and change our uh, launch kind of thing but uh, it's because when let's say I change that number and some other uh, thing and some other computer is there because I've talked some uh, talked with some like some TCS uh, employees actually slide into my DMs and it, they said like their uh, user session is automatically logged out so let's say if my is C004 and some other person is trying to log into C004 and I'm already logged in, I will be logged out of the system. Now they told me that it would be because uh, some secure, like if my keyboard is not working, so they would shift me to some other computer. But only the invigilator or the test taker organizer or the test center head should have that option, not the candidate. That's my first concern. I was able to identify it uh, like I just unplugged the keyboard and just replugged it and then in that span after five seconds the command were all logged again using i think they are using a web browser so probably they are using e dot prevent default to you know just uh, lock in on the commands <clears throat> but what uh, i did was i think it took some two to three seconds to you know unplug and replug all those commands so in that time frame i just ran the control shift i which stands for open the developer console and i and I think it will, it is Firefox as the UI suggests there. Uh, if you undock the window in that window, you can actually just slide your cursor to, let's say the end of the screen and that iLeon kind of environment pops up and then you can access all the applications that software has. It's there is no browser as such, but you can actually go to uh, set username and all those uh, commands are available to you. Now, uh, Many of them actually told me that uh, we are logging, like I read it some on article, like some different newspaper has published it also. And their TCS has replied that they have checked the system logs and all, and everything is perfectly fine. Now, uh, if they have checked the system logs, like I ran a fetch command on that system. Fetch basically means uh, if application is sending some request to the server from the application point of view, I am running like application is automatically sending that fetch request, but I am actually running on my own intentionally. So if any other candidate, let's say have X commands, I will have X plus Y commands because Y commands has been run by me. So I don't know how their logger works, but they probably overlooked uh, logging part as well because I have uh, run the fetch command uh, to submissions.do. How is this a matter of grave concern and why should we worry? Please explain. The concern is only that if I am able to log out, if there is some security expert, they might know that there were many telling me that they have uh, IP and Mac binding. If if that's so, then system is pretty secure. 
uh, but how i would be able to do that so that's my one uh, that's my first question second would be uh, if any other candidate is giving the exam and i log into their system their session gets logged out now if that's happen if that happen their examination may get ruined because uh in j type of examination there is a lot of pressure on the candidate and there is like you know it's a national exam uh it's a life changing moment for many of the candidates many of the aspirants so if they are panicked in the exam using any sort of system issue or some kind of that because if i am able to let's say i'm not able to hack uh, so let's say i'm not hacking any system but let's say they also press f5 and they logged out so that shouldn't happen to any aspirant like if like let's say i don't know any kind of cyber security and if i ran say control shift i command and then suddenly system is logged out i would be in panic right because because i was here to give the test how the system software tells me to go here go there then invigilator comes and restart the system and all those things happened with me so uh, because when i was logged out invigilator come and ran some command and system restarted okay and then someone from the server room came and then he do all that 005 and all those things so there i saw that uh, you can write in your code name and hit press and enter so if i was a serious candidate type of thing and i was like this exam is my main exam i have to do everything to this exam if i am logged out automatically just by let's say i accidentally press that command using some uh, like some aspirant actually press that command and if they gets logged out they would be in panic situation and then it will be a pressurized situation for them because they have lost some minutes and that's very precious to them in this uh, national level examination if it is valid sum what measures should iit madras or tcs ion the exam conducting agency take to resolve this uh the steps i would definitely recommend is rather than using a browser based environment i would definitely recommend to use a native environment a native application such as microsoft word uh microsoft excel uh, you have many applications that run natively on the system and i don't think so uh in native systems you can access the developer console or do because in native level uh things uh, you get full control of the os as well so and the os commands in browser you have you have to go through the uh, javascript and chrome and all those api bridges so i would definitely recommend to pivot uh, this advanced software to a um native software rather than uh, a web browser based software so what do you think about this matter tell us in the comment section below if you like our videos give a thumbs up share and don't forget to subscribe Stay tuned to edX Live for more important and interesting stories. Stay safe and mask up.